Now order the troops to pass in review. Pasha! Guest of Honor and Speaker, President Rodrigo R. Duterte, to proceed in front for the pass in review. Ladies and gentlemen, passing before you are the proud and gallant men and women of the Philippine Air Force. Headed by the Troop Commander, Brigadier General Larcris P. Tumanda, Armed Forces of the Philippines. His staff are... Colonel Fernando Angat Colonel Freddy Conejar Colonel Henry Parse Colonel Reynold Rueca And Colonel Moises Micor Following behind them is the Philippine Air Force Band led by Staff Sergeant Arnold Dinglasan The first air group is headed by Lieutenant Colonel Reynaldo Gabinete His staff are Major Nestor Ramos Major Rodel Sangalang Major Roel Baraquel And Major Amina Escanuela Squadron Alpha is led by Captain Christopher Saldua. His executive officer is First Lieutenant Adonai Shadai Vista. Flight leaders are Lieutenant Mendoza, Lieutenant Calma, Lieutenant Salazar, Lieutenant Reyes, Lieutenant Chan, Lieutenant Flores, Lieutenant Garbin, Lieutenant Claro, and Lieutenant Labos. Squadron Bravo is led by Captain Michael Motil. Executive officer is First Lieutenant Fermark Arcabal. Flight leaders are Lieutenant Barredo, Lieutenant Vidad, Lieutenant Elashon, Lieutenant Asutin, Lieutenant Andrada, Lieutenant Garcia, Lieutenant Vidad, and Lieutenant Arellano. Squadron Charlie is led by Captain Francis Anthony Flosa. His executive officer is First Lieutenant Orlando Escaño. The flight leaders are Lieutenant Manlulu, Lieutenant Pagila, Lieutenant Sebastian, Lieutenant Redelicia, Lieutenant Salazar, Lieutenant Aronales, Lieutenant Martir, Lieutenant Aguan, and Lieutenant Espinosa. Squadron Delta is led by Captain Gino Antonio Benavides. Executive Officer is First Lieutenant Mikias Victor Makatangay. Flight Leaders are Lieutenant Largo, Lieutenant Casilag, Lieutenant Cabanalan, Lieutenant Pangkit, Lieutenant Lyon, Lieutenant De Guzman, Lieutenant Daras, Lieutenant Ledesma, and Lieutenant Mape. As the colors pass in front of you, 
please rise and render the appropriate courtesy. You may sit down after the callers have passed. Thank you. Please be seated. Following are the callers from the different units of the Philippine Air Force with the caller officer, 2nd Lieutenant Joseph Fabile. The second air group is headed by Lieutenant Colonel Jerry C. Paneda. His staff are Major Arvin C. Gunran, Major Darwin Katibo, Major Emerson Bermeo, and Major Vendel Saturos. Squadron Echo is led by Captain Cristituto Sumailo Jr. Executive Officer is First Lieutenant Kenneth Valmacaso. Flight Leaders are Lieutenant Quiros, Lieutenant Deocaris, Lieutenant Joseph, Lieutenant Jeronimo, Lieutenant Mendoza, Lieutenant E, Lieutenant Hasigan, Lieutenant Pambaga, and Lieutenant Toazon. Squadron Fraxtrut is led by Captain Ronald M. Bernardo. Executive Officers, Lieutenant Crystalline D. Resho. Flight leaders are Lieutenant Sison, Lieutenant Chapno, Lieutenant Dalumpines, Lieutenant Basilio, Lieutenant Pinyon, Lieutenant Basirul, Lieutenant Soto, Lieutenant Kakanindi, and Lieutenant Bakay. Squadron Golf is led by Captain Silverio de la Cruz. Executive Officer is First Lieutenant Ray Anthony Manguni. Flight leaders are Lieutenant Sanchez, Lieutenant Segara, Lieutenant Martin, Lieutenant Lunas, Lieutenant Lara Cochea, Lieutenant De La Peña, Lieutenant Carpo, Lieutenant Malunes, and Lieutenant Hain. Squadron Hotel is led by Captain Lawrence Potencia. Executive Officers, Lieutenant John Ray Bautista. Flight leaders are Lieutenant Bakay, Lieutenant Lampito, Lieutenant Galeposo, Lieutenant Asilor, Lieutenant Tuliao, Lieutenant Tria, Lieutenant Ganapan, Lieutenant Biernes, and Lieutenant De La Cruz. The Philippine Air Force shall now showcase its ground mobility assets. Passing before you are the Philippine Air Force communication vans. They are commonly used during air operations in remote areas where no established communication systems are in place. They are used to control aircraft performing combat, humanitarian and disaster relief operations. The next vehicles are the combat vehicles of the 7th Special Operations Wing, the ground tactical unit of the Philippine Air Force. The two V-150 armored personnel carriers are employed for operations both for urban and non-urban environment. Next are the KM-450 vehicle towing speedboats. On board the first vehicle is a scuba team, while on the second vehicle is the riverine team. Both teams are capable of operating against enemies of the state on any body of water. Towed by H. Humby are the 20mm M39 cannons that complement the ground-based air defense weapons of the 7th and Special Operations Wing. Next are the K-9 teams on board KM-450 of 7th and Special Operations Wing. We now showcase the capabilities of the 505th Search and Rescue Group, the foremost humanitarian assistance and disaster response unit of the Armed Forces of the Philippines and known as the Angels of the Philippine Air Force. They can perform search and rescue missions by air using the helicopters with pararescue men who can be inserted through free fall and static jumps, heli rappel, rope ladder, and jungle penetration. Next are the ground ambulances of the Air Force City Hospital and the Air Force General Hospital. Their mission is to provide medical service support to the Philippine Air Force personnel, their dependents, and authorized civilians, and render aeromedical services nationwide to include air evacuation of patients, mercy missions, and search and rescue operations during disasters and calamities. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be witnessing the Philippine Air Force Air Assets. Leading the pack are 12 T-41 primary trainer aircraft and 9 SF-260 basic trainer aircraft in Delta and Diamond formations from the Air Education and Training Command. These aircraft are utilized for the primary and basic military pilot training of our future Air Force pilots.
following are the helicopters of the Philippine Air Force that operate in day and night time, composed of the Augusta Westland 109 helicopters from the 15th Strike Wing with the UH-1 Delta helicopters and Bell 412 Combat Utility Helicopters from the 205th Tactical Helicopter Wing in Delta Formation. These aircraft are responsible for the conduct of troop insertion and extrication, relief operations and air evacuation, and logistic flights. Last but not the least are the 220th Airlift Wing aircraft, the newly acquired C-130 Tango aircraft and CASA C-295 designed to conduct heavy and medium lift operations. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just witnessed the parade of the ground and air assets of the Philippine Air Force. A round of applause to the men and women of the Philippine Air Force. Mahal na Pangulo, tapos na po ang seremonya. That ends our ceremony for this afternoon. We would like to invite our guests for cocktails at the Mabuhay Lounge, the Air Power Hall, the Haribon Hangar, and the 505th Search and Rescue Hangar. Further, we would like to inform our guests that you will be guided by the usherettes to your respective cocktails venues. Thank you for joining us in this significant occasion. Magandang hapon po at mabuhay tayong lahat!